Welcome to this tactical analysis of the Eintracht Frankfurt versus Napoli game. We're going to have a look at how Frankfurt's front three try to combine, the Frankfurt pressing triggers, and how they try to adjust their formation after the Moani red card. And then we'll have a look at Napoli's 2 3 2 3 shape and how they sought to create space for their wide midfielders. And with that, let's get into it. It's just starting here in the fifth minute with Frankfurt's back three providing short passing options for Trap. But this was against Napoli's quite intense press where Anguissa or Zielinski paired with Osman up top typically to create more of like a 4-1-3-2 with Lobotka as the deeper lying centre defensive midfielder sweeping in behind. Frankfurt didn't mind this, they were happy to play the ball longer into Moani with Lindstrom and Goetze floating off him to combine centrally and be able to utilise Goetze's technical ability to release either of the two of them in behind. And so we see that here with that long ball into Goetze with Moani and Lindstrom looking to try and run in behind. And Oliveira, who stepped in from his left back position to cover for Lobotka, is looking to immediately counter press. This is a really great run by Lindstrom, who eventually pulls it back into a dangerous area with his numerous bodies that he could ricochet off, eventually leading to a Mwani drive from a very acute angle. Unfortunately, it goes wide. But the general aim seemed to be get the ball up to Mwani quickly. He'll try and hold it up either in a channel or combine with the likes of Goetze and Lindstrom with others looking to join in support. Where they had time to be able to get the wing backs into spaces near to Mwani, they would try and push the likes of Buta high up so that he could provide a possible option out wide for a flick on from Moani. Following Moani's shot, we get to see Napoli setting up in their 2-3-2-3 two, three, two, three shape versus the 5-4-1 of um, Eintracht Frankfurt or 5-2-3. I say that because later when Moani goes off, they still try and maintain the three forwards, but instead they just have one centre midfielder. So for Napoli, what they would try and do is position their centre backs more towards this left-hand side and then have Di Lorenzo kind of sneak his way as high as he can upon this right-hand side, sometimes facilitating by Anguissa dropping from higher to fill in as a right side of centre back or right back. This would then allow Lorenzo to either push up the side or push inside into Anguissa's position as a right sided centre midfielder. Because the wide centre backs for Eintracht Frankfurt would typically follow the wide centre midfielders of Anguissa and Zielinski, this could create space for the wide midfielders of Napoli to be able to run behind as those two push out. That leaves space in behind them for a nice floated ball more centrally. Playing down the wings was kind of necessary because Frankfurt made it extremely difficult to play in this central area. You see that here with just how quickly the centre midfielders for Eintracht Frankfurt close on Lobotka once he receives his pass from Kim. And so we see what I mentioned with Anguissa dropping into that right-sided centre-back or right-back position to create that back three. And you've got a two with Zielinski dropping to pair with Lobotka, allowing Di Lorenzo to be able to push higher up on this right-hand side. And then this is creating a little bit of indecision here for the wide side of centre back of Eintracht Frankfurt because the wing back wants to be able to push out wide but doesn't want to do it too early otherwise he might expose his centre back. So eventually we see the ball passed out towards this left hand side and as I mentioned the two centre backs preferring to come and play more towards this left hand side of the pitch. The ball going towards a touch line was a trigger for Eintracht Frankfurt to press so we see that here where initially whilst the ball was more in a central position they were happy to just take up this 5-4-1 relatively passive pose and as soon as the ball comes out into this left-hand side, we're seeing all the players rushing to close all the short options. Napoli try and combine in that left-hand space, but Eintracht Frankfurt are able to win possession and immediately get the ball into Goetze. As we mentioned, we've got Moani looking to run in behind. And we've also got Lindstrom looking to run in behind here, looking to split those centre-backs, expose them. Eventually, Lindstrom is able to take a cross slash shot and it's easily saved. Okay, so we have kind of that 3-2 shape for Napoli, except we've got this swap here by Angu Anguissa and Di Lorenzo, where Anguissa is filling in in that right back kind of position, again posing different questions to the Eintracht Frankfurt press. And Zielinski has dropped, but he's not tracked by the wide centre back. And we can see just that ton of space between the lines here. And so we've got quite clever movement, I'd say, by Kovacelia, where he's gone inside so that he's occupying both the wing back and wide centre back 
and then he plays the ball back to Oliveira and now he's got a ton of space to be able to expose with Zielinski looking to support but unfortunately Oliveira's pass is poor and Tuta is able to regain possession and of course immediately Andre Frankfurt looked to play Moani in behind with an early through ball. As I mentioned earlier Andre Frankfurt's centre forward eventually gets a really harsh red card and so they're forced to play an even more transitional or counter-attacking style. Okay so I like this scenario in the 37th minute because it shows that 4-1-3-2 press from Napoli again, Lobotka sweeping in behind. You've got Angisa instead of Zielinski pushing high up to pair with Osserman and again looking to force an early long ball out of the Andre Frankfurt centre-back. This leads to a turnover and Napoli end up in possession with Di Lorenzo rushing up that right wing to try and support the regain and the counter-attack. After a little bit of back and forth, eventually Osserman and Di Lorenzo help to get the ball back into Lobotka and Napoli get to resume their 2-3 shape albeit with their fullbacks inverted. Unfortunately Napoli's attack down the left hand side falters and Andre Frankfurt are able to get the ball back and of course the first thing they do is they hit it long to Moani who's immediately counter pressed. Okay and then lastly in the 88th minute I just wanted to show the slight change in Frankfurt's shape forced by the red card. So they maintained the black line with a five, except now they just have one centre midfielder and a front three. Yes, there were substitutions to freshen up legs um, on both sides, but otherwise I'd say that the formation by both teams was basically the same. 2-3-2-3 two, three, two, three from Napoli and a 5-1-3 from Eintracht Frankfurt. And with that, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, maybe share it on social media, subscribe. If you'd like to watch other tactical analysis of the Champions League, please have a look at our Champions League playlist. And with that, we're out.